Craig's and Heidegger's critique of modernity. <clears throat> and we had stopped here. Um, Brake criticized modern civilization for its lack of respect for the in, in, inexhaustible secret of a reality of which we ourselves are a part and which surrounds us. If man, if man arrogantly places himself at its center, he is ultimately left only with a pragmatic relationship to truth. Truth in that case is what serves us, the instrumentalization of truth, and what brings us practical success, that is science and technology. Okay, so let's uh, dwell a bit on it, on these uh, observations, because they are important uh, critique of modernity, at least um, earlier versions of modernity. So every civilization has a center, its center. Around which it revolves. For example, the center of Christendom or Christian civilization was God, a particular conception of God, a particular conception of God. And despite Trinity and all those things, the overwhelming conception was that of a transcendental God, which was the creator of this universe and sustainer of this universe. And, and this universe of ours was just a, a very small part of his creation, and his creation and his creativity was inexhaustible, infinite. In every aspect of life, uh, revolved around that. In a, in a sense, we can say that that's a God-centric civilization. Doesn't mean it was a true civilization or anything, but that's the nature of that civilization. Modern civilization, on the early modernity, on the other hand, its center is man. Where the man seen as a, an individual, or as a species, <clears throat> and everything in this civilization is in that sense man centric. The universe is there to serve the man, the, must be subjugated to the man. And that's why epistemologically, um, epistemologically, everything is in principle. <laughs> susceptible to human understanding. So we will be able, our knowledge will be able to encompass one day the whole truth. So in that sense, uh, the reality around us is in principle exhaustible. And the epistemology, epistemologically speaking, the, the, the project of modernity is premised on on the assumption of complete understanding. of what surrounds the man. One day, science with the superior mode of understanding of this modern man will be able to understand everything. Today, obviously, 
And as we understand more, we are able to subjugate that universe around us to our will. So people before us bowed before the nature because they thought it was mysterious, it was beyond their understanding. But the modern man, you know, through this method of science is able to understand or one day able to be able to completely understand. And by completely understanding, we'll be able to completely subjugate. the universe around us to our will. But the individual will or, um, or the will of the species, uh, that's a historical process. And it's clear from the work of, uh, you know, Kant, and especially Hegel, but Kant as well, and other modernist philosophers, um, French modernists and you know, French Enlightenment thinkers will be able to basically, you know, conquer disease. We will be able to conquer even death, many thought. Uh, and even if we are unable to do it today, we'll be one day able to eternalize, if not the individual man, our own species. That was the project of communism, for example. And liberalism's project is pretty similar as well. That's why uh, if you compare the liberal um, utopia with the communist utopia, you will find very little difference, really. <laughs> okay, so this is the modernist project. And there are three crucial elements of this project. Science as the an epistemology and methodology through which you are able to exhaust reality through understanding. That's one. And the second is technology through which you will be able to use this understanding to subjugate reality to human will. And then capitalism, the accumulation, the method of accumulation through which you will be able to overcome scarcity. So human beings will be able to say kun fayakun. <laughs> and kun fayakun be and it will be. They'll say, let's, let's it be and it will be. <laughs> um, that is the essence of both the liberal utopia and, and the communist utopia. Obviously, uh, with the passage of history and with all the um, all the experiences this project went through, you know, some, some outlandish claims were tamed, but the project is never abandoned as such. So nobody today, I don't know, not many people today believe that we are able to conquer death, but Still, some uh, people believe that, a lot of people believe that we'll, we'll be able to conquer uh, disease, for example. And even if you have abandoned the original belief, <laughs> uh, we haven't uh, totally rejected it. Um, I mean, even if we have abandoned the outlandish, uh, some of the outlandish element of the original belief, we haven't... Um, Abandon the belief as such, uh, the modernity. And all three elements are well and thriving. Science as a concept, I'm saying. Technology as a concept and capitalism as a concept. They, these are the three things which rule our world. And capitalism is the supreme and science and technology are its two main uh, horns or two main instruments. Okay. So this is the modernist project Bragg and Heidegger are criticizing. And one of the things which is compromised in... A modernity um, is the inexhaustible nature of reality and with it the transcendent nature of truth truth 
truth is not truth which is not subservient to to the human will because if man is the center reality is subservient to human will and that same truth is also subservient to so we compromise the transcendent nature of reality transcendent nature of truth as well um, even in Christianity, Christian civilization, for example, God is transcendent. And reality is transcendent in that sense because God is transcendent and he has created that reality. And his own reality is beyond the grasp, beyond, um, you know, exhaustion. And truth in that sense is also transcendent because truth is related to <clears throat> this transcendent God. Uh, but if you put man in place of this transcendent God, everything becomes subservient to this, this new God, which is man, and which is at the center of this uh, modernist humanistic civilization. So in that sense, reality become subservient to human <clears throat> understanding as well as human will the science this is technology um, and truth itself become pragmatic in the sense that it is subservient to human will so you are not bowing to the truth but you are Searching the truth so you are able to, using that truth, you are able to rule on this unruly reality. So what we lose in modernity, so the uh, reality is in principle exhaustible. So in principle exhaustible, both from the perspective of understanding of truth, also from the perspective of uh, uh, is sub subjugation to human will. Um, so there is still, uh, you know, mystery and all that. But that mystery, as to, with with the passage of time, that mystery is reduced. And in principle, there is no mystery in that sense. So transcend, tra transcendent nature of reality is compromised. Transcendent nature of truth is uh, comprom compromised. In principle, everything is subservient to human will. So there's a the pragmatism and instrumentalization of everything in this specific sense. Uh, and Bragg and Heidegger are very upset by this because uh, they think that this this uh, impoverish uh, humans as well as understanding uh, it impoverishes our understanding and our relation to to the universe which surrounds us we should be a, the relation of something you know of embeddedness uh, as something of which we are a part on the contrary it has become the relationship of subjugation and there are no longer any mysteries and if there are any mysteries they are only temporal and temporary and our relation to the truth also have become impoverished because truth has become a tool of human dominance so and as a result human um, civilization and human life has become impoverished because we no longer receive uh, abundance and uh, grace and mystery and wonder on the one hand uh, that that feeling of wonderment um, which was the basis of all search for truth has become has vanished as well because in principle there is no wonder everything is understandable there is no mystery everything is understandable and that has impoverished human humans and their understanding and their relationship with reality okay so this is the basic critique of break um, the critique of modernity 
and um, it's obvious that Heidegger took a lot of this and developed, developed this critique into a full-fledged system. So modernism, according to Prague, was blinded to anything that is not itself or serves itself. And the autonomy of the subject had be, uh, become a self-erected prison. Drake criticized modern civilization for its lack of uh, respect for the inex inexhaustible secret of a reality of which we ourselves are a part and which surrounds us. If man arrogantly places himself at, at his center, he is ultimately left only with a pragmatic relationship to truth. Truth in that case is what serves us as human being, as individual or as species, and what brings us practical success, technology and all those things. So now the question that um, we said last time is whether this critique is able to actually um, overcome modernism or modernism on the other hand is able to incorporate this critique um, within its overall um, worldview. So that's something which we will consider, would have to consider separately. But today we have looked at uh, the fundamentals of the, so in today's video and the last session we looked at the, you know, the, ba the basic thrust of their critique. Uh, and next time hopefully we'll raise this question whether this critique actually is just a uh, uh, negative critique or does it have any positive uh, civilizational uh, project whereby it can overcome modernity and come up with some other type of civilization, civilization based on uh, civilization which is reality centric or <laughs> uh, object centric rather than <laughs> subjective, sub subject centric. So this is the question we will raise uh, in the next next session, which will hopefully be the last session uh, of of this uh, series. Okay.